Okay, now is my turn. Uh, I'm Miguel Angel Coneca from the University of León, and in collaboration with Angel Hernández from the University of uh, Politecnica of, of Madrid, uh, we have developed an experience applying different kind of tools to uh, learning uh, to information in order to start uh, to use the uh, information stored by um, learning management systems. Well, this is the outline. I'm not going to, to say what, what is here, so maybe maybe it's not necessary. Well, if we talk about information, we can say that we are living in the information society. Also, we can say that we are living in the knowledge society. So, where we are living. Sometimes uh, we are very focused in, in a concept, and we are uh, not dealing with the important thing. That is, we have to start <coughs> knowledge and to use it. It's something like uh, Maria Jesus said. If you say something, if you know something, and you can avoid some kind of uh, dropouts or things like that, try to use that kind of information and try, try to use also your experience. We have a lot of learning management systems. We have a lot of tools to learn. We are gathering a lot of information on what is known as raw data. Okay, we are going to deal with it, we are going to analyze it, we are going to apply different kinds of algorithms, but the idea is to be uh, able to know something beyond this. I know, I, I, I guess that most of you know what, is it, what, what this is. This is the Moodle log, and I can see there are a lot of IPs addressed, but nothing else. What is happening? I have, I don't know, 1,000 of these pages, and what I'm gathering for you. We have to, to deal with this data, that is no nothing, that is information without a corners. Uh, we have to, context, uh, to, uh, to use context information in order to obtain information and know what. After that, use our experience in order to Thing we are so I think that wisdom is something that never happens, so well, it's in the, in the top of the pyramid, but okay, it's, it's okay. But what we are, I think that we are here, and we have to deal with it, in order to really uh, use the information we have to uh, obtain something positive for, for us and for our students. I'm not going to define learning analytics, I have uh, uh, put this here only for uh, if you want to see some references or something like that. I think that also uh, Cristobal has talked uh, enough about how le what is learning analytics, academic analytics, educational data mining, how they uh, are close and, um, and uh, maybe uh, it, um, that uh, is something that depends on the point of view of the students. So okay, I think it's, it's something that is not should not be connected. Maybe I would like to, to stop here in the chatty model. Chatty proposed this model when uh, and uh, this model uh, discusses about what we can obtain with information and with knowledge depending on the model. Okay. Uh, in the past, you can uh, know what has happened and uh, a regular report and a description. At the present, you can know with the information what is happening and provide some alerts and define what to do. And I, I, as a few tool, you can say, okay, maybe this is going to happen and I can predict this. If we are talking about uh, knowledge, uh, we can say how and why it happens, define models and explanation, what is the best thing to do in a specific case, and what is the best and the worst that can happen, and define the different uh, initiatives we can uh, carry out. To uh, address these kind of things, we have a lot of tools. A lot of tools such as this, such as uh, model engagement, such as Lega, uh, such as Gizmo. Okay, what we have done is to evaluate 14 tools of learning analytics. And we have uh, applied, I can't I remember, maybe six, six tools uh, with uh, students of different uh, um, subjects and courses. Uh, what we have achieved is, okay, we have different tools. We have tools that provide us 
information at the moment, and can, uh, with that kind of information, we can make decisions that change the way in which uh, uh, a subject is being developed. And we have other kind of uh, tools that provide us information that let us know what has happened, which is something useful. So we are coming back again to, to this moment. Okay? Uh, we have classified these this tools in uh, cross platforms and, uh, and platform specific general purpose dashboards, ad hoc tools learning analytic tools for specific purposes and learning analytic frameworks that uh, have uh, integrated several tools. I think this is Google Analytics. I think most of you know that it can be applied to our learning management system so we can have this kind of information easily. Uh, we have also a specific uh, dashboard defined for uh, learning management systems. We have this, some of them. This is from Moodle. This is an uh, adopt tool. Uh, it is, uh, not very beautiful to see it, but it was useful because it helps uh, students to, uh, well, it helps to teachers to measure the acquisition of uh, teamwork competence uh, from uh, an individual student. Okay. Uh, here we have uh, Graphics, which is a social network analysis tool that uh, let us know how uh, the interaction is being carried out uh, between the different stakeholders and also with the different resources on the system. Uh, this was defined by, by Angel Hernandez at the University of Madrid. And this is Gizmo. Do you know who is Gizmo? Yes. Okay, this is Gizmo, but Gizmo is not this. Gizmo is... Okay... It's this. It's a tool that allows you to check during a, in, in a specific moment and also in other points what is happening. You can filter by student, you can filter by resource, you can select a specific activity, we have applied it. Okay. And we have also another thing, maybe this joke is not going to be understood in English, but this is Bella. <laughs> Bella Candle, okay, uh, the, the, in, in Spanish is Bella, and it's the name of visual e-learning uh, analytics that uh, was uh, defined by uh, Diego Gomez, uh, Diego Alonso Gomez Aguilar. Uh, at the University of Salamanca, and it allows things as combination of uh, different kind of um, tools. I think I have the video here. Yes, sir. And he provides us different tools, and you can use the, these tools at, uh, and at, at a specific moment during a course or select a specific. Um, period of time in order to analyze the kind of interaction between the students, the kind of interaction with the different resources, the, how, um, depending on what kind of activities uh, the students were carrying out, were carrying out uh, the, the grade, the relationship with the grade they have, um, and they have also a tag flow that allows you to, to see what were the most important words discussed in the forum, so you can know uh, what, what was uh, being discussed, discussed in a specific period of time, which is something uh, very interesting because you can say, okay, they are discussing about something that is not related with the subject, or they are discussing about a specific concept, so I would need to clarify something at my classes. So, well, they are different tools that can be applied, and we have applied them in experience, and this experience, uh, there were around uh, 300 uh, students uh, from different uh, uh, from different subjects, with more or less activity. Maybe in some of them, uh, the learning management system was was not very used. But okay, we, we can try to apply different uh, techniques, a study uh, the adaptation of tool, carry out some testing, and evaluate the results. The results were evaluated using all these tools. For for instance, using engagement analytics. It's a tool that uh, provides you a list of the people in risk. Okay, I have it here. It's very difficult to see it. This, okay. And I have some people that is in risk uh, of the dropout. So what we have done, we see this, we talk with the students, and uh, we say then what was happening, we try to help them, and with this we uh, have, uh, maybe we can, Please, but, uh, we have uh, 
um, our achievement was that the six of uh, ten can fail a course. This map uh, allow us to see what resources were uh, really used. Uh, something that uh, our our um, our uh, uh, comments before. The idea is okay. I am providing them a lot of resources, but are they using? I am spending my time in, in, in providing something that is useful. Okay, so uh, we have had use uh, this one uh, with this sense. We have uh, assessed uh, the students depending on their interaction. So, well, at this case, we uh, we explain them that parts of this grade were uh, of the grade were going to be validated depending on, on the interaction because if not. Is something that uh, that you have come in before. Uh, they are not going to participate. We have had problems with that, okay. because some of them, after the break was published, were not happy uh, with uh, with their participation on the subject. But uh, life is hard, I say. And also, we have carried out some reactive uh, actions to solve problems. If we uh, see that some students uh, were not using a specific resource, and I would like to be, uh, provide a support resource for a concept, I need to look for another resource and publish it on the platform. <laughs> With Villa, we have uh, see we have seen uh, which were the periods of higher use of the of the learning management system. So maybe we can uh, uh, reinforce uh, the, the, the we can use more teachers to help students because they were uh, interacting a lot during this during this time. Also, uh, we checked the concepts that were discussed and not. Uh, this was very interesting because some of them were using, were discussing something that were not important for the for the subject, and were forgetting something that uh, was really important. So we have to uh, refocus this kind of discussions. Um, we have to evaluate also the interaction and uh, the influence that some resources have in uh, grades regarding grades. For instance, if a student uh, see a video, uh, the, the, what's the grade uh, in, uh, influences that anybody is? So uh, we have to use uh, this for in, in this sense. And also, we have used graphics uh, to see uh, which is the color interacts with photos, and we have compared the uh, social network provided by graphics and the social network provided by them. And as conclusions, well, the challenge of the tools depends on, on user needs and on features and academic needs. We have had problems uh, with the presentation of this kind of information to the teachers, and we have had a lot of problems with the compatibility and the awareness of this person. I have shown you uh, several tools, some of them on Moodle 2.6, some of them on Moodle 2.9, and. Uh, I, I was not able to install both the tools in a, in a unique version of Moodle, so that, that was great. Uh, another problem was uh, problems with the institution. When I have tried to talk with the institution, I would like to start this tool that could be useful for the teachers. What? They're going to start what? No, 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 no. So the problem is that in order to study or to analyze this kind of information, I have to back up all the information, download it, upload it in my LMS, and exploit the information or show the information with the tools. And if you think about it, I'm um, I'm not taking into account ethics. I'm downloading a complete course with all the information. So maybe uh, the institution should be um, more flexible in order to allow us this kind of things. Okay, and that's all. And if you have any question, I will talk about it. They, they, they were not very user friendly in any way, but, but um, in my opinion, uh, it depends on your necessity. For instance, the engagement tools is very useful to know, uh, depending on several issues, if the students are at risk or not. 
but I sometimes uh, it would be interesting to know if uh, a concept is being discussed or not in the forum. But I have a lot of partners that are not using the forums in, uh, at all, so it depends on the way in which you are teaching, it depends on your necessity, and it depends on the kind of students. It was very interesting uh, to know that uh, I have exactly the same problems with the first year students that uh, the people from, from Valencia were, were having, because uh, depending on the students, they are um, really for a kind of interaction, they are ready for use the, these tools, and are, are, are forgetting this, I, well, we have been applying a, a tool uh, and a methodology to evaluate uh, teamwork competence in the first year, second, third, and fourth of uh, computer science, and also in a master degree. And depending on the level of the course, there, were a, a, there was a, bit, a very big difference, and uh, there were problems with the tool and with the students. So, Depends on the context, and uh, I think that uh, it's unnecessary teachers, teach, uh, so teachers, uh, what kind of tools they have, and help them to use it. The institution should have a catalog of tools, and the tools that you can use, but now, uh, I have tried this in five universities, and there were not the possibility, there was not possible to, to, to carry out this kind of thing. Uh, they need to have a tool very, uh, very test or very supportive in order to install it in the institutional environment. Yeah, so. Would you have a feeling that uh, people using learning analytics are mainly those that are connected to a research group with learning analytics? Well, yes, but not necessarily. For instance, uh, I have been talking with a lot of people uh, involved. The research was related with uh, uh, educational innovation. So, so not specifically to Learning analytics. They need a specific tool of learning analytics in order to carry out an experience of, of uh, innovation. More questions? No? Okay, I, I said no. We have 12 minutes, I think. No? Okay. We have. Okay, we have five minutes if you want to discuss some of the, of the experiences we have here, and we can go to the coffee break. Any questions? Not only about my presentation, but also about <laughs> yours. In your opinion, do you think that uh, we are properly using the tools that we have uh, to, to explore the information. And when I talk about properly, I'm talking about ethics, I'm talking about uh, how to study, I'm talking about we are using the, the proper tool. Do you know, do you, do you have enough information about all the tools, all the possibilities, all the things that we have? Or you are looking for a specific thing? Uh, what do you think? I think that uh, as Christopher saw the report a table with many, many tools, the problem is that each tool is very specific for a given context, set of data, and it's very difficult to generalize. I mean, uh, it's difficult to find a tool that fits your requirements. So, it's, it's a challenge uh, for the learning analytics community to be able to reuse uh, developments of, of other research. I don't know if you have the same experience. Or but maybe, maybe there, there is another question, that is that some, sometimes all these tools, not all of them are open. And yeah, but even in those that are open. Maybe. The main answer is a lack of awareness of what is available. Yeah. Because many times we know what our colleagues are doing, and more or less in the community, you are going to uh, some conferences or some uh, meetings, you know what is going on. But then <coughs> we are not even able to put those solutions in our own context, so the transferability of, of those approaches <coughs> is so straightforward. So if it's not really uh, easy for us, I, I would guess that for a normal person working in a classroom, or even for a, for a student that wants to know what's going on with the piece of their own progress, it's a mess. So I think that it's a huge gap from the research point of view till the real scenario. You know, yeah, I think in fact we have carried out some 
courses for, for teachers uh, trying to explain this in, in the world. And um, it was crazy because I'm trying to explain model engagement. Use this kind of this version of Moodle, okay? But my, my university has not this version. I have to uh, prepare a complex process of downloading the, the background and using. The problem is that it's what you say. It's not straightforward. And uh, although you provide them um, information about what, what it is, maybe we are not having uh, the possibility to have a complete tool that was really, really easy to use and easy to use in a, any context. So, I think it's a mix of, of both. I mean, it's lack of awareness of tools available, but also we're talking about from a research standpoint of developing these tools, but are we really asking the teachers what do they need and, and asking the students what do they need? Because <coughs> we're going to put this for their, their best and uh, we know that, but if we design something that say, well, uh, this gives you the right information you need, but perhaps the presentation is too complex, or it's not exactly uh, what it needs because it should be simpler than that. Then what's the purpose of, uh, of making decisions and creating them? I mean, I think we are obviating some, somehow the uh, the needs. Uh, not not really the needs, but uh, I mean, you're a if you say you're a teacher, uh, I have to develop some online contents. I have to make a student tracking, whatever. I don't have time to start learning six different tools or one set of tools. Just ask me what, what you need, and perhaps it's too little, uh, and you can do it. I think it's both of them. It's lack of awareness, and perhaps an, an, a too uh, scientific uh, approach in uh, mind to the design of uh, these tools. With that, I, I would like to ask the audience if you know cases of applying learning analytics out of the research, uh, I mean, or, or the own teachers that are researchers in learning analytics. I mean, is the, are different levels of education demanding learning analytics or even they know the possibilities of learning analytics? I mean, are you working for others that are not yourself or your students or very close students? Yes. Yeah. I have a One is from the University of Polytechnic of Madrid, the other is from the University of Chicago. And uh, they gave me some specific thing, uh, and specific tool that I developed. And they were applying. Okay. They, they, and they, also at the university. But not at my university. Okay. So we were in touch with some teachers, and they were interested in improving their own practice. So they were open with the idea of, okay, let's try a few things, so oh, this is what I need, and we were doing the whole design of the activity with them, from the pedagogical point of view, and then trying to see what is the connection between this uh, pedagogical approach and the data that they were retrieving. But it's nothing that uh, they could, uh, if I try to check from, from some, with some distance, it's nothing that they could do by their own. They need some extra support, you know, and they even not many, I'm sure that go to many schools, primary, secondary, they don't even know the possibilities of learning analytics, they don't even know the, their existence. I, I think that they don't even know the, probably the possibilities of their headedness. Maybe they yeah, are yeah. using only a, on a specific yeah. part of it, so uh, it's maybe a kind of a problem of learning, a problem of, of teaching them to a sort of the research community, but the educational system. From, from my point of view, I realized that uh, some of my colleagues didn't know that how to do those things that I showed you. So, they, uh, they have.